Come on, ladies! Let's go! Guys, that's a problem. Come on, babies! Look at this. Oh my gosh. There are goats running up the driveway. Oh Lord. Okay, so somewhere goats have gotten out. Come on, babies! Come on, little ones! Oh my gosh. Whew. Oh, look at the way, look at the way back. Look, look way back. Look, oh, it's that sweet little guy. It's Pickles, look at him, he's handy. He's uh, handy capable. He's making his way, but he's so slow. He's so far behind the others. I feel horrible for him. Now the goats have come to the little bridge and they're kind of scared to cross. Y'all, look at Pickles. Sweet little guy. Come on, babies. Oh, no. Guys, what have y'all done? I have to make sure we have 12 goats here. Come on, littles! All right, so I'm trying to count. Can y'all help me count 12? There's pickles in the far, pickles is way in the back. And then we have one little black goat. One of the golden girls has gone to the other side of the fence. She's climbed under. Guys, what are y'all doing? Huck, why did Huck take you guys to the road? Come on, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh my gosh, stop wiggling and moving so much. I can't count you like this. Okay, one, two. All right, then we got three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's all 12. Okay, guys, we're safe. Folks, Lester here. It's a big day for us. Uh, I'm standing right here on the back side of the ostrich pastures. Leo and his crew have worked themselves all the way down to the creek. And uh, that was pretty much the majority. That's about everything that we've asked them to clean up for us. There's a couple of things over on this side of the creek that we're gonna have them get before they leave with their machines. Let me turn my camera around and show y'all some of the progress here. But, uh, look. Am I safe? Am I safe standing here? Am I in a, am I in a bad spot? Do I need a hard hat for this? I got my boots. Yeah, I'm back to wearing shorts and boots. Let me turn my camera around. It's funny how I say I'm back to wearing shorts and boots. But it's true, if you think about it, when you first met me, when you all first met me, I was a guy that wore shorts and boots. And it was a big joke amongst other internet channels, larger channels than us at the time. Uh, this guy who wears shorts and boots, and he's always screaming about something. That was, that was what everyone said. I was a guy who wore shorts and boots and always screamed about stuff. And uh, since then, I've made friends with some of those channels. Uh, and then you watch other channels that also attempt to get their, I don't want to say their name to fame because it wasn't shorts and boots that got me where I'm at. It was an undying love of animals and uh, making them first and foremost, giving them personalities, giving them a voice, being their voice, treating them right. There's been a number of things that have gone into the success of the page. But as far as the character identification, I was the guy who wore the shorts and boots. It's just like Cog Hill was the dancing farmer. I mean, let's all face it. You don't probably remember what he wore back in those days, but you knew he was the dancing farmer. And so funny that other channels pop up and everyone tries to find themselves a trademark. They try to find themselves a mark uh, to identify them. Uh, the most ridiculous, don't get me on my, don't get me going. Boy, he is right down in that creek. I, I don't want to take my eyes off of what he's doing. I, I'm intrigued by how this all works. Just intrigued. Carl is dancing 
in the pasture. He's so excited about all of the work going on. I can't see anything from here. Carl is so... Where he's going behind the tree so I can't see him dance. Dance like no one's watching, Carl. He doesn't think anyone is. He's thought you were far enough away. He keeps going behind the trees yeah. where I can't see him. That little... Look at him. He's having the best time just watching all the land being. He's like, yes, I can't wait to run across these pastures. Huh? I feel like he's dancing at Jungle Boogie right now. You know that song? Jungle Boogie. That one? <laughs> oh, no. Oh, he know can't. What's happening no, right Carl now. just took off. He maybe saw that I was video and he's yeah. like, dang it, Dad. You yep. ruined my moment. All right, so I am super excited. I'm actually kind of sad, Leo. I'm kind of sad. Look, he's done. Leo's finished. His job with the big tractor is done. Uh, Uriel's still doing a couple little things over here. He's still getting a few fires going. He's going to do a little cleanup. But look what Leo has discovered. He called me. He goes, come over here. And I'm like, oh, no, what happened? There's no water here. No. We have water. Look, there was no water here. And he starts pushing his tractor around, and he's uncovered, we think, two springs, right? Two, three, yeah. I see one is coming out of the ground right here, and one is coming from over there, and all of this has filled up in the last hour that we've been sitting here. And I'm thinking, that's great. So now what we want to do, we want to dig a pond area here, right? Like a small pond. And Leo says, these two springs will feed that pond, and we will never, ever not have water here. And it will be clean, beautiful, clear water. How many months we have it that they don't rain? Huh. Three or four months yeah. Or more. Oh, yeah. And look at this water. Yeah, that's true. Think about it. We haven't had rain here in so long. Not significant rain. And you can see how dry everything else is. And yet here's water seeping out of the ground in two places, feeding this spot right here. And so this is a huge blessing. Anyway, I want to finish this video up and just say thank you again to Mr. Leo. Guys, he's been a blessing to us. Can I go ahead and say the good news about the, the birds? Sure. Can I say it now? Well, yeah, you know. I was going to make a video about it only. Okay, so everyone's probably wondering. Uh, I told you guys a while back that me and Mr. Leo had, we worked out kind of a deal on the property here. And I'll go ahead and tell you now that we are super excited that Mr. Leo is going to take two of our babies um charlie and susan and we're super excited about that he got a place for them over in plum grove where he's going to raise them and you actually like the eggs oh, yeah, love <laughs> they love the eggs and i'm like they're gonna they'll give you an egg to it you know every couple of days and uh so that's wonderful so we're so excited about that it's helped us tremendously it's going to give us two less mouths to feed which is going to be great and uh and look at this beautiful beautiful pasture this is going to eventually have all these green grass. And uh, I said it in my video yesterday that he had a vision and he's made his vision become a reality using this machine right here. And that's awesome. And so I'll tell you guys real fast before I finish the video up, this used to be a very small, narrow runoff creek from that side over there. And now we've made it nice and wide. And so Uriel will do a little bit more cleanup in these little areas through here. And then I'll plant grass, and in a, a couple of months, we got grazing land. We always knew we had a spring back in the back by the river. That is clean, flowing water seeping out of the ground somewhere up there. And so there will always be water here. It's, it's literally flowing. I'm sorry, Leo, that sounds weird to you, but I'm so happy about this. You're happy? Hell yeah. <laughs> he said, hell yeah, he's happy. Hell yeah, he's happy. Man, that's great. With all of the work that's going on around the property, uh, I'm sorry, I'm trying to walk and go through all around my ankles. With all of the work going on around the property, come on, babies, come on. Here we go. I got, look, look, goldfish, goldfish. Who loves goldfish? If there's anybody who ever wants to send a snack, you want to do something for the animals. Come on. Oh, you're not a goat, Charlie. 
You're not a goat either, Beverly. Oh, look. Come on, little one. Come on. Here we go, here we go, here we go, come on. There are little, come on babies, come on. Uh oh, everybody's in now. Everybody's in. Look out, little buddy. Here comes the birds, y'all better eat fast. Y'all might wanna eat fast. I always say, we don't want your money, we do not. And we don't even wanna put things on our Amazon wish list. But little bags of goldfish, large bags of oatmeal, Things that don't, oh, look, they were so thirsty. Oh, babies are all great little snacks that come in so darn handy for so many, <laughs> for so many different occasions. Like that one you saw right there. I didn't bring any more, okay? We just need the goats back in. So problem is I need to go close the goats in. I need to come in here with y'all. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sweet girl. Daddy got to come, come actually close this gate over here so we can keep the goats in until I figure out where they are we're getting out at. So I'm going to close this up here. Watch this. Now they're confined to this one particular goat yard. Um, and then I will figure out where they all got out at a little bit later. Are you blocking my path out? He's such a big boy. My gosh. Lord have mercy, he's going to be trouble. He's going to be so much trouble. I don't think you're going to recognize this property for a while. You can see all that behind our goat pastures, our ostrich yards, where it's all being cleared. And so I said it before, I will have to make a trip to the feed store find i need to do some research and find what kind of seed is going to grow best in this soil type with uh, as hot as it is and then get that seed put out hopefully before we get a next rain and then i may have to seed it several times but guys i just cannot wait to see what's going to become of that pasture all right, so before I end the video, I wanna walk over and talk about Charlie and Susan right quick. Now, it's gonna be hard to tell who's who because they're all wet and they, well, they look alike when they're wet, obviously. But, um, these two. Nope, that's Debbie. This one? Oh, I don't know who's, no, that's Debbie. Guys, I don't know who's who right now. But sorry, they're all wet. They look, they look like little wet dogs, okay? But uh, Mr. Leo loves these birds. He's intrigued by these birds. And you know that we've offered Charlie and Susan to several internet families. Uh, some, of, some of which you already know. The Cog Hill family. The uh, Arms family. Did I say the Cog Hill family? You know, the Smith family at Cog Hill. The Arms family. And uh, no one really seems to want an ostrich. But uh, Leo is in more than happy and excited about taking some to his ranch. Uh, and if you guys don't know, Leo actually owns a ranch here in Plum Grove. And he also owns a ranch in Mexico. And they travel back and forth. But his birds will stay here, even though he says that his he can't wait to take a couple of eggs back home to his family back in Mexico and because they're just intrigued, intrigued by these things. So I don't know how he's gonna do that, trying to take eggs across the border. <laughs> I'm not gonna go with them. I don't know, I don't know anything about it. But uh, we know now, this is Wanda, sweetie. We will miss Charlie and Susan, but I will say that I would never let a bird go to a home that I didn't trust, an owner who I didn't trust who's gonna give them the best. And as with, ouch, you little, why did you do that? I just told Leo how sweet you guys are. And if a little more, she don't poke me right in the back of the arm. Um, as with all of our animals that we have to end up rehoming, we've told this to, we, we, we have rehomed some donkeys. We have rehomed some dogs. We've rehomed 
just a number of different animals over over time that we could not keep for different reasons. And we always tell them, if for some reason it's not like you expected, bring it back or let us know and I'll come get it. I'm not gonna send the animal off to somewhere where I don't trust and where, and they will always know that those babies are welcome back here. But um, it will be, hey, sweet girl. That's our Debbie right over here. Hi, baby. You're not going to poke me, are you? You're not a pecker, right? You're not a pecker? No, you're not. Well, guys, I'm going to let you go with that right there. Uh, we certainly appreciate Mr. Leo and his family for all the time and effort they've put in on both properties. I'm a survivor and now Longhorn Lester's. All of the driving back and forth he's done. It's been two weeks of driving here, hauling his equipment around, and he's created us what's going to be a masterpiece, just a beautiful addition to our property here. So you guys extend our well wishes to him and his family. And just never forget that I've talked about this on numerous occasions. What a survivor story. We always, you know, talk about how we're all survivors of something. And Mr. Leo, able to get out and do what he does in a wheelchair, finding a way to climb onto and off of his tractor, navigating himself through life, and overcoming where a lot of folks would give up and say, yeah, yeah, I'm just, I can't do this, you know. And no, he gets out every day and does it. Every day and does it. And I'm excited about watching him grow with a couple of our babies. And uh, guys, can you imagine the future videos he's going to send? <laughs> so, no, he's going to begin some construction on giving them a really nice sized pasture. I talked to him a little bit about the parameters and uh, what they will need as far as fencing. And, of course, he's been here several times to see our setup. And whenever he's done, I'll be more than happy to load those two birds up and drive them over. And I will bring you all video of that. I will make sure you guys will know everything that I know. Hi! There's Lex going in the house for a refill. All right, my friends. I'm letting you go right there. We love you. We thank you. Everything, everything is funner and gooder. Can I real fast on my fingers talk about some highlights of this video? Our goats had gotten out somewhere and came back home up the driveway and our little sweet pickles there our little handy capable fella last but man he certainly ain't the least i can't wait for brian to see this video she's just gonna fall in love with him even more that was one thing the discovery the discovery of two additional springs that come off the side of that hill and have formed a puddle at this point, but will eventually form a small pond to always give our babies over there an additional water source besides, well, they ain't gonna get sprinklers, okay? They ain't gonna get sprinklers, but they will always have an additional water source while out grazing the pastures, which is which is amazing. That's, a, that's an amazing find. Uh, the fact that Mr. Leo has finished, he, him and his crew are gone. Guys, they are gone. They've loaded up their trailer. Uh, They've taken most of their equipment and they are gone. That means I can plant seed. And then, of course, at some point, we'll, we will be moving a couple of, of our birds to his property there in Plum Grove. All right, my friends, what an exciting video. And it's always funner and gooder to share videos with exciting times with those you love and care about. And that would be you all. And thank you all for watching. We'll catch y'all tomorrow. Don't let your troubles fester. Come watch Longhorn Lester. <laughs> yeah, something like that.